All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine Shadsen UI and Next UI. Now, I'm a big fan of Next UI and Shadsen UI. However, I much prefer the components that come out of the box with Next UI. I really, really like the sort of look and feel of the Next UI components compared to Shadsen UI. However, I also really like how to implement forms in Shadsen UI. So it's essentially a wrapper with a couple of extra bits and bobs on top of React Hook Form. But I really like the way we can build out forms in Shad UI. So in a personal project recently, this is how I've combined the two. I've combined Shad UI and Next UI. Essentially, all I'm using from Shad UI is the form functionality and error handling and things like that with the form. But the actual form fields, I'm using Next UI to render the form field. So it's the look and feel of Next UI, but with the form functionality of Shad UI. Now quickly before we get into it, I'm going to show you how to create a simple form with Shad UI form, but rendering form fields from Next UI. Quickly before we get into it though, my Shad UI course is now live. We're going to build this fairly basic dashboard where we can see we have a couple of tabs here and we take a look at form validation as well, all with Shadsyn UI and Zod for client-side validation for our forms. All of this is covered in the course, and I'll leave a link in the description below to the course. I'll leave a link as well for a coupon code, so you should be able to get the course for about nine or $10. With that said, let's move on to the actual topic of this video, and that is, I've got two forms here then. I've got my Shadsyn UI form. I really, really like the Shadsyn UI components. We can see anytime we hover in or a particular form field is active. I really like these labels for the form fields. And whenever we hit the submit button, we see this nice sort of ripple effect. And we've got our really nice validation messages as well. So I really like Next UI. If we were to create this form using Shadsyn UI, this is pretty much what the form would look like. So I don't know about you, I much prefer the look and feel of the Next UI components. Obviously, we can change the Next UI and the Shad UI styling however we want. So we could, I suppose, change the styling in Shad UI to more reflect the styling in Next UI. However, I much prefer just rendering the Next UI components out of the box, especially when it's my personal projects. I'm not such a good designer and I really can't be bothered to create or try and style things, make them look nice, where I think the Next UI library has some really good looking components. So with that said, let's head on over to our code then. And I've already got the Shadsyn UI example form here. We're just using React Hook form to create a form. We're using Zod for validation. So this is pretty much out of the documentation, straight out of the documentation from Shadsyn UI. We've got two fields. We've got an email address and a password. If we scroll down to the form markup then, Again, this is pretty much exactly like from the documentation in Chad CNUI. We're rendering a form field, and within the form field, we have a render prop, which is also rendering a form item, a form label, form control, and an input component. Now, to convert this is actually pretty easy. If we wanted to use exactly the same form implementation, from Shad CNUI, all we need to do to change this up is, instead of rendering all of this markup here, we could simply render an input component from Next UI. So I've got an example here from Next UI, and it's exactly the same form field. It's the email address form field. But instead now from the render prop, we're returning the input component from Next UI. And the input component from Next UI takes a couple of extra props. We can pass an error message and an is valid. So if is invalid is true, i.e. we have an error message, then the next UI input will display red. It's got a nice red background. Same with the error message as well. It'll display that nice red error message. And to get the error message, we can use the use form field hook that comes out of the box when we install the form or everything to do with forms from Shad UI. So this use form field hook comes from Shad UI. We can destructure any errors and pass those errors down into the input component from next UI. So it's literally that simple. We can render any UI elements from any library we want, but we can still use the Shadsyn UI implementation or the Shadsyn UI form implementation and just render whatever we want as the inputs or the form fields. 